This is the beloved Japanese manga Death Note. In 2018, Netflix gave it a live action remake, and fans were not thrilled. It scored a dismal 24% approval rating on MovieWeb. Now, those same fans were put back on edge after famed manga author Eiichiro Oda announced that the same will be happening with his prize series, One Piece. Preparations have been slowly progressing behind the scenes, and it seems that I can finally make the big announcement. Netflix will be lending us their tremendous production support. This is so encouraging. Please be patient a little longer and stay tuned. It was over 20 years ago when Oda launched One Piece. It looks like you picked up trouble again. For one, he's covered in scars. It follows the adventures of Luffy and his crew of pirates in search of the ultimate treasure. See? This is volcanic ash. Along the way, they fight off an array of otherworldly villains and contenders. It's an epic story told so far through 80 volumes and 870 chapters. But considering the disasters of past live-action adaptations, there are fans who are more than concerned. Those were innocent people! There's no such thing. Death Note, Dragon Ball and Attack on Titan, all original manga series, scored audience approval ratings of less than 40% on MovieWeb. On the outside from the androids, on the inside from the heart virus. It's not like things can get any worse than this. Everything from casting to soundtracks to character transformations and plot adaptations were ripped apart. Oda tried to put controversy to rest by reassuring fans that he will be overseeing the production. But One Piece fans still lashed out on Twitter. I would never distrust the god Oda himself, but this is just an awful idea. And another tweeted, not everything needs to be made into a live action series or movie. So this time, will Netflix's One Piece be added to the critical dustbin that Death Note and others found themselves in? Or will manga enthusiasts be proven wrong? Salome Fancel, TRT World. Joining me now is Paul Gravatt, who has been working in comic publishing and promotion for over 40 years. Hi, Paul. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. So let's start with um, how we finished off with Salome's question. Will Netflix's One Piece be added to the critical dustbin or do you think the manga fans will be proven wrong this time? How is it looking so far? Well, yeah, Netflix has got one of the biggest, well, if not the biggest manga property on the planet right now. I mean, nothing really sells more than uh, One Piece. And it's, it's still continuing. It's you know, heading towards 100 volumes and there is an end in sight. But this is a massive, massive project to actually adapt into live action. It hasn't been done in Japan. We've had anime, of course, and other, other versions. Um, but yeah, it, it, to be honest, Netflix has a, a mixed track record of, of taking these major properties, uh, whether from manga or anime, um, and adapting them for the West. And certainly many fans, purists, um, who prefer the original Japanese are, have not been happy with the, uh, the, the quite often quite substantial changes that have been made to westernize or internationalize or maybe de-Japanize these very Japanese properties. Um, and yeah, there's a big concern as to what One Piece will turn into. Mm -hmm. um, uh, to give an example of the kind of things that, that have not, perhaps have not worked so well previously, things like Ultraman, which is essentially, um, he's a gigantic alien superhero battling giant monsters. When it was revamped um, and turned into a more mainstream kind of almost Marvel style, mm -hmm normal size superhero, I think many fans felt that it had lost some of its uh, initial special qualities and unique uh, uh, originality. Yeah, there um, are a lot of concerns for sure. So, Sorry so that's a big question, it's a big question. Yeah, yeah. definitely, there, it is a big question mm -hmm. and a lot of concerns out there. But do you think it's possible to take yeah. solace in the fact that the original creator, 
is actually on board with this as the executive producer. As we've seen, uh, Oda Ichiero, the, the creator of One Piece, is, is fully backing the project. Um, that happens in most cases, actually. Creators are often very uh, optimistic, shall we say. It's also, of course, unlikely they're going to really say anything negative because <laughs> it's in their interests. But it has to be said that you know, there are uh, still concerns, even with Oda on board. How many changes will there be? How mm -hmm. faithful will these, will these adapters be to the spirit of the original, even if they perhaps change location or characterization in some way. Okay, and but because these are very precious stories, mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a, a, a concern that uh, there will be too much tampering. Okay, but Oda Ishiero, he tweeted something and he sounded really excited and he sounded uh, thankful to Netflix for their uh, production support. I think that's how he worded that. Do you think um, manga fans are being a little bit cynical here? Uh, manga fans are very close to these works. I mean, this is much more than just a printed comic or something. These are stories that, are, that they've grown up with. These stories, of course, have run for many years. They are deeply embedded in their lives and their dreams, and they are not just a story you can mess around with. And the fact is that we've seen, for example, Netflix adapted Death Note, a, a superb, complex story into a really rather boiled down and I think quite spoiled version and not surprisingly the fans were disappointed. Mm -hmm. The only solace really to be taken here is that the original manga is there. It's never going to be messed around with. That's what you can go back to and maybe even a, a, a less than satisfactory adaptation can bring a, a new public to discover the original mm -hmm. source material. Okay, you mentioned Death Note. Uh, I think one of the biggest criticisms for that adaptation was whitewashing. So as there is no casting yeah. uh, revealed yet for one uh, piece, do you think they could repeat, Netflix could repeat the same mistake again? Well, I suppose it's, it's, there's a risk of repeating the whitewashing, in other of casting white actors in Asian roles. Uh, but uh, the, the, I think the problem also is not just the casting, it's when you transfer, in the case of Death Note, the entire storyline from Japan to America. That obviously was a much bigger thing than just simply a, a bit of casting. Um, and the fact is, of course, that One Piece is a crazy romp with, with bizarre characters in it. Um, it's not really defined in that sense of being so specifically geographically only Japanese. It goes off into wild fantasy, and I think there's plenty of room for, for inventive adaptation. Um, we have to wait and see what the track what, what comes through our, onto our screens. Mm -hmm. Some people say that it would be particularly tricky to adapt one piece because of the cultural references. Do you agree with that? Mm. One of the big questions when you're taking a property is how faithful you try to be, how much you adapt it, how much you change it. And uh, it, these properties are, are, are complex. They have a lot of cultural references. They're not uh, necessarily something that everyone's going to get the context of. But we can, hope, we can hope that they find a middle ground, perhaps, where mm -hmm. they can bring enough of the original content and spirit and intention of Oda Sensei and this extraordinary, huge, complex tapestry of, sto of story. Yeah. It's one of, the, one of the most remarkable in, in our time and make it work in live form. It's telling that it hasn't been done in Japan yet, and possibly even the Japanese think, is it even possible? It's taken quite a while for this deal to get ironed out. Uh, it's a 10-part first series. Um, how much will they adapt? Yeah, it's very <laughs> it brave of Netflix, for Many, many it, more Paul. series. Yeah. If, so, yeah. uh, okay, yeah. one last question before we wrap up. So imagine you're on board with Netflix team and um, one thing, tell me one thing you wouldn't be insistent on doing or avoid doing with this adaptation. What, what could potentially be the biggest problem? The key question when adapting something is to recognize the core strengths of the story you're adapting. And there are plenty of cases uh, where comics have not, have, people have thought, the film directors, TV directors have thought, we can improve on this. You know, it's actually quite a good idea, but we can make it better. Well, actually, <laughs> Oda has made a remarkable work. There's no real reason to make a lot of big changes to it. Um, and to recognize, above all, the, the central core, the, the, the spirit, truly the spirit of this story, what it says, why it means so much to people around the world. It, don't lose that. Well, okay. Well, let's see how Netflix will be performing this time. Paul Grovet, good anal analysis there. Thank you so much for joining us.